All right, pizza review time. Uh, we are at Spaca Napoli Pizzeria. We did two because we were way too early. This one's the hot one, clearly. Um, I like the guy in there. No joke guy, get the full get up from New York. He's tech taken, actually I didn't understand what he meant. Pizza lessons as we speak from uh, Steven Spielberg's personal pizza guy, whatever that means. Anybody else taking class while they're making pizza for you? Taking what? Anybody else taking class when they're making pizza for you? No. My friend is the uh, personal pizza chef for uh, Steven Spielberg, Slow Ride Pizza. Oh, I didn't know that. And he's amazing. He's working with a friend of mine from Genoa. Oh, so you're taking classes right now. I didn't understand what you meant at first. That was cool. One bite everyone knows the rules. So this is Neapolitan style, though. A lot of people have said it's really good. Most people know how I feel about Neapolitan, right? It's like 6'8". I start there. It's a personal style pizza, but it's not always my favorite. So I start, assume if it's the best, a standard Neapolitan 6'8". If it goes above, I think it's better. If it goes below, it's worse. But that's my average for Neapolitan. Some people's cup of tea is not necessarily mine. One bite, everybody knows the rules. I mean... As you could probably tell in there, it's super fresh. You can tell everything's super fresh, super light, super good. It was a very good Neapolitan pizza. Have I mentioned Neapolitan is not my favorite style of all time? Yep, so if we're starting 6'8", 7'1", significantly better than the average Neapolitan. Good outdoor. Oh, the sun's down there. This is a big place, huh? Mm -hmm. Have you ever had it, Eddie? No, I never have. No, very good, so 7'1". Cool outdoor dining, good spot. What's going on? That guy's got a very cute dog. Chicago is buzzing, by the way. It's like 70 and sunny out, and everyone's out. Um, so that's a review. I highly recommend it as a date spot. Spaca, Napoli, Pizzeria, Sunnyside Ave, Chicago. That's a review. This is for the flop test. You know portfolio, right? Portfolio? No. This is oh, crazy. you want to do the whole... There you go. And what do you do with that? You eat it on the street. This is what you did 300 years ago in Naples. And you just take a bite like this way? That's what you do. All right. I've never, have you ever seen this style, Eddie? <laughs> never. Portfolio. Portfolio 300 years ago in Naples. Uh, Napoli. Napoli. All right. Fine. I'm going to burn my face off probably. No, no. No, I'm going to burn my face off. No, no. I heard it. I saw you with your tongue. Yeah, I know. I had a, I had a bad injury. I had a bad, I had a bad injury. That wasn't burn. That was misbiting. So first bite, I only got the bread. You got, you got to wake your way in. That's the most important part. <laughs> I had a straight bread. That was a very good bite. I feel like pure Italian right now. <laughs> you ever tell anybody to eat your pizza this way? You tell people to eat your pizza this way? All the garbage men, all the service people. That's how they do it? I'll give it to them in the truck. Just, you know what a soup bite is, right? I'm still, I, the only thing I taste is the fresh bread you're making. Well, you know, work your way in. The, the, the biggest concern is if you have a pizzeria, if you see the cornichone, they leave it on the on the plate. They eat around it. They leave the cornichone. It's the bread. The bread's the best part. So hopefully it, it's I mean, the bread's good. spectacular. Now we're getting into it. You know, Neapolitan's generally not my favorite style. I know that. I like it eating it this way more. That's how the kids, the bakers, like for example, this is Pepe and Grana. Yep. His grandfather was a carpenter. He was paid in grain, became a baker. Father, Franco Pepe's father, became the first pizza maker of the family. Yep. When in the olden days there was a stufa, the kid, the baker would make the pizza. To send the, the scunits, the children, out on the streets with the stufa. The pizzas were folded up portfolio. They were stacked one on top of the was, other. So is that how it's meant to be eaten? That's what it was done 300 years ago. I'll tell you, you should still do the Neapolitan style. It tastes a lot better when it's like, not better, but it's like you get more flavor. I but, like it this way more. But that's what they, we still do that today. Well, I've never seen it. No one's ever done this for me, ever. And I've done a lot of Neapolitan. No one's ever done I, I don't know the words you're using. Fufa, lufa, like combine. 
this, the, uh, this, this this stu- what is this called? The stock? This, this is called portfolio. Portfolio. I've never done that. If you had money and you were educated and from the north, they would call it a libretto. So the portfolio means a wallet that's opening. In the north, a libretto. Look at that. Book. You burn your face off. But that that's that's how I'm only going to eat Neapolitans from now on. Va bene. Thank you very Thank much. You. This is you. the way to do it. Thank you very much. You got a whole lesson there. Now, I love that guy. He could just make it up because I don't understand a lot of the words he was saying. But portfolio, well, this is how you do it. I don't even know it tastes like pizza. It's just a, a cheese molten lava and bread. I mean, how can you not like this? So this way, this way, Eddie, I'll give this like seven five. Look, that, you dare me to eat that, how hot that is? That would burn my face off. I dare you. Diet will wait for tomorrow. All right. That's good. That's a good reveal.